Welcome back to another episode of Backyard Baseball 1997. Our last one, we played the first game of the Super Entire Nation Tournament. We beat the Crunchy Cookies. I want to say like 20 to nothing, 21 to nothing. I mean, we... It, it was it was honestly the most lopsided domination dominating game we played all series long. I mean, we destroyed them. I thought entering this tournament, it was you know we were going to be in for some really like you know tough games, some you know tight playoff games. The first game absolutely obliterated the cookies. They didn't really stand a chance. Now I don't expect that to happen in game two. You know you got to figure they're going to play for some pride. They're going to you know want to. Um, you know, make amends for that last one, get revenge. So we, I'm not expecting this say, uh, game number two to go the same way, but you know, it's definitely a confidence booster for sure. Knowing that we can put up that many runs on this team. So we're going to hop in here to game number two and see if we, you know, we can, uh, you know, do have a similar out, uh, outcome to the first game. I mean, if the, if the first game is any indication on what we're capable of, I think we can win it all. I think we can win it all. So we're going to hop in here. Game number two against the Crunchy Cookies. Let, oh, one more. Almost forgot. All right. Let us, oh, right, let me just make sure that's saved. Hard. Yep. All right. All right. Let's get in. Hello there, all you crazy fans. Welcome to another game in the BBL Super Entire Nation Tournament. This could be the big one. I'm Sunny Day, and joining me is my pal, Vinny the Gooch. Together, we'll bring you every bit of the action. What she means is, she's never going to stop yapping. It's my job, Vinny. Today's matchup is between the Crunchy Cookies and the Green Giant. The series is at one game to none, and these kids good chance of making it to the Ultra Grand World Championship of the Universe Series if they can just produce another win. Alrighty then, it's time for some baseball! Yes sir, these fans are going crazy for the Giants. Let's hear it everybody! All right, We're, the uh, the Ultra Grand Championship of the Universe is on the line. His middle names begin with D and who owns small dogs. And his favorite color is chartreuse. I'm gonna strike them all out. Timmy Unger gets up the bat. All right, let's get down to business. All right, let's see if Kenny can, uh, you know, do what he's been doing all season long and shut the door down. That's a good start. That's a great start. Jane Davis steps up the bat. This girl's a scrapper. Look at that determination. Also, the last episode took a very... We were scoring so many runs in the last episode. It took almost like an hour-long episode. <laughs> I mean, it was... A lot of these episodes in this series have been like half an hour to 40 minute long. That one was almost an hour long. It was insane how many runs we were scoring. But so far, the pace right now is much faster. Two pitches, two outs. Three pitches. What a throw! Oh, no. Oh, he's running. All right. Well, not exactly the way we drew that one up, but three pitches, three outs. All right. I was waiting. I was waiting for it to move on. Now pitching Chico Papa. He's gonna let him know who's boss. All right. Let's see if we can start it off right again. I forget which inning it was that we really exploded for a lot of runs. I forget if it was the second or third inning, but one of those innings, we just really just blew it wide open. Ever since Amir hit that grand slam, we really just broke the game wide open. So we'll see uh, We'll see what we can do in this game, see how the offense does. Hopefully we didn't use up all our runs in game number one. I shouldn't have gone for that one. Yeah, I, uh, I committed too early to the bunt there. All right, we'll try one more time before we go for it. All right, this should be good. Ooh, he fouled it. All right. Well, I don't want to bunt um, foul again, so we'll, we'll go for a swing here. Good eye. Should be... Oh, I missed it. Yeah, it's been a while since I played, so I'm going to be a little rusty. 
I, I think it's all honestly been almost almost two weeks. So yeah, I know I've been uh, slacking on the uploads. So I'm just gonna have to uh, adjust quickly. Thankfully, I, at least Kenny's a really good pitcher. So hopefully, I won't need too many runs. Uh, it's low, I think. All right, let's see. Okay, it's decent. Uh, it's right to the center fielder, though. Yeah, that's the thing in this game too. The 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 outfielders are, I feel, better at catching than in 2001. Maybe I'm making that up. It's just how I feel. I, I feel like that's the case. But two quick outs here. So the pacing in this game very much faster than the last one. Mikey, it should be a hit. Should be a base okay, hit. All right. Oh no. Yep. Lead off single. I don't know why I said lead off single. Two out single. See if we can uh, take you know take advantage. It's high, I think. Oh no. Is that gone? Keisha Phillips. Is that gone? Do we get it? We did. Keisha Phillips goes deep in the uh, the uh, first inning here. Mikey with a clutch two out single, and then Keisha drives a 370 in the left field. That might be enough runs for us to win. Honestly, the way Kenny's been pitching all year long, that might be that might be enough runs to to send us to the uh, universe tournament. All right, I love that. I love to see that. That is, that that makes me feel oh, that makes me feel a lot better. You know, usually I, I feel like when you don't score early, then you start pressing for runs and get, get frustrated. You start swinging at at balls and stuff like that. So the the fact that we got an early two runs makes me feel good. Makes me feel really good. Oh, and a, another single for Joe. I'm telling you, I've been saying it all series long. Jocinda gets the luckiest hits. No one drops more outs than when Jocinda's hitting. This is, it's just very odd how that happens. No one drops more um, base hits uh, on our team than, you know, when Jocinda's at bat. Oh, that was a terrible pitch to swing at. I agree, Vinny. I agree. That was terrible. Ah, it should be an out. Unless Jocinda, can she make it? Ah, oh, so close. That's all right. We got two big runs in that inning. Let's see if we can hold on now. And that'll do it in the first inning. Let's run on first. They they have a really good team, honestly. The Cookies, like all these. I, I think I said this in the, the last episode too. All these players are like big name, like you know, in the the backyard league. Oh no! Is that gonna be? Are we gonna get him? Wow, we got him! They are just being very aggressive right now. They are being very aggressive on the base pass for no reason. I did not mean to do the heater. I forgot I was not on the slow ball. Pete. All right. Why are they running again? Have they not seen Pete's arm? I mean, what are they doing? They <laughs> they keep running on Pete, and Pete just keeps get, gunning them at second every time. I have no idea what the the cookie strategy is. They are they are running themselves out of this game. If they if they just took their singles, they they could probably have a run by now. It's not even like I'm. I, it's not even like I'm doing anything to make them run or anything. Like I'm literally just throwing it to second base. <laughs> like they're just, they're just being dumb. They're just being very dumb right now. Ooh, how'd you get a piece of that? I thought it was honestly gonna be a ball. I mean, get this out though. That would be, you know, the pacing again. Yep, we got her. Holly May goes down nine pitches in six outs. That is pretty incredible stuff right there from Kenny. And Pete, honestly, with his uh, center field arm. That's why we throw him in center. Speed and the arm. All 
Right. Amir Khan had a big home run in the last one, Grand Slam. See if see if he can do something here. I think he's batting, like, what, 300, 3 for 10 in the playoffs so far? Not bad. 300's a good number. Ooh. All right, Amir Khan. Uh, it's a dribbler. He can beat it out. He can beat that out. Amir, run. Ah, so close. Nice try, my man. Kenny's batting a 666. That is, what, six, uh, six of nine? That's really good. Good eye, Ken. So sh uh, ro roll it, Kenny. Rolling, 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 rolling. Ah. Yeah, I, I'm not expecting us to get another 20 runs like we got in the last one. That I'm, uh, I'm not expecting that at all. But I would like a little more than two. Oh, I was so. I can't believe I was late on the slow ball there. And I don't know what it is. I'm just. <laughs> I, I still need to I still need to adjust. I'm still not like From the wind up and the pitch. Is that high? That okay, one, good. One and two. Target goes up. One, two, pitch. Contact. Contact. One and two. He's set. And the throw. The wing. Contact. Staying alive, working the count. That's what we like to see. I've also, yeah, I've been playing a lot of MLB The Show 23 lately, so I'm honestly, like, I'm back in the baseball mood. Sally Dubs, honestly, just keep, keep, you know, keep working that count. Make Chico work for this out. Uh-oh. Good eye, good eye, Sally. What in the bat we got going so far? I, I've lost track of how many pitches. Uh, all right. Well, we made him work for that one. We made it. We made. We made Chico work for that one. We still got the lead. I can't believe that. Still nine pitches in two innings. That is an absurd pace. <laughs> absurd. Absurdly low pace, I should say. Oh, Jacinda off Bill Noggin. Hopefully they don't run this time. Yeah. I was gonna say, don't don't be dumb, Joe Minotti. Just just stay at first. Take your single. Don't get greedy. Now the tying runs at the plate, so I don't love that. One one home run and the game's tied. It's a ball. Oh, he swung. I would not have recommended the swing. Good time to him with a hook or a crazy pitch. Into the Kenny. Okay, loved it. Let's see if we can get a double play. Double play or strikeout? A little high. All right. Strike. Ah, oh, he fouled it off. Okay. Yeah, we've uh, this. I'm I'm gonna go on a on a limb here and say this inning is not gonna be a nine or oh, there right, strikeout. I was gonna go on a limb and say this inning's not gonna go in under five pitches. <laughs> All right, we got a fireball. It's a good one. I don't want to use it yet. No need to, but Fireball is definitely a good one. I don't love the slow mo anymore. I used to like. I feel like the slow mo used to be good, but I've given up a couple hits with it, so I'm a little hesitant on using it. Fireball though is still like an automatic one. I like. I don't usually like using it though, unless I know I have a juice box in hand, because it takes a lot of juice to use the fireball. 
longer. All right, they're back at the top of the order now. Corkscrew. I don't usually use the corkscrew either. I feel it's too unpredictable to, to aim it where you want it. And for some reason, the computer's actually good at hitting it. Ooh, it looked like a strike to me. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, um. All right, all right now. All right, let's just let's throw more centered. He bunted, interesting. Can he? All right, well, we are, uh, we're through three. Yeah, much, much faster pace for this one. I, I have a feeling this one's not gonna be a 50 minute episode. Although with these instant replays, maybe. Yeah, we need to get some hits. Only three hits so far, we need to get some hits. Our whole offense really so far is the one Keisha home run. Uh, Alright, well, let's, go, let's get some base runners. Let's see if we can get a bun here. Good bun. Really good bun. Really good bun. All right, I'm, I'm tempted to steal. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try stealing. We haven't stolen a lot in this series. I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh how did I miss that? It was like so slow. I kind of, it kind of messed me up. All right, he's in there. What? How? Did he like miss the base? <laughs> like what? What happened? Keep it together out there. I'm so confused. He literally slid in there. Did he like miss the base or something? I don't know what happened there. I feel like we were robbed. I I feel like we were robbed. It's going to left field. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to to watch that back when I after when I'm done editing when I'm editing this I'm gonna have to re, I'm gonna have to run that back. I thought he was in there. He slid, you, it, like he slid in there. Then it was such a delayed out. The, uh, the only the only thing I can think of is like he either missed the base or was trying to run to third, but I don't know. I pff, whatever whatever it's fine. We're we're, we're still in a good spot. We don't need that run. We don't need that run. Mikey Thomas is gonna get us another two-out rally. Or or not. It's all right. It's all right. Let Mikey cook. Mikey's gonna cook here. Mikey's gonna. We're we're gonna let him cook. He's gonna he's gonna. Oh no, that's right to the. Oh, down the line. Oh, he's so slow. He's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. All right. Well, <laughs> again, if anything, this is gonna be a quick episode. So, uh, we're we're still winning. We're still we're still in a good spot. Three innings down. We're up by two. Honestly, some episodes we don't even have this many runs by this point. This is more or less what I was expecting this series to go like. That's why the first game was such an anomaly, where we got like all like to 20 runs. They are just bunting like crazy on us. Oh, that, I see why. I honestly didn't want to throw that. That we were lucky that did not go out a player to right field. That was the first time their bunt actually worked, and I did not like it. Chico also has power, so this could be dangerous. Like I said. Pete, no! He like just knocked it down. Oh, Amir. Oh no, Amir Khan. Oh, what are we doing, guys? This, de this defense. <laughs> oh no! What is ha what? <laughs> what? What was that sequence? What was that sequence there? So many errors. Pete dropped it. I mean, we're just throwing it away. It is not good. Not good at all. Oh no, that is, <laughs> that is very bad. All right, we need to find a way to hold this runner on third. All started with just a bunt. This is like a, what seemed like a innocent little bunt led to this. I was about to say, I know Chico Pop is his power. I know he's a good player. And literally right, I mean, I still feel like Pete should have caught that though. I know Sewing isn't the greatest, but he was right there. But now this is getting a little dangerous. 
Now's a good time for a snowball. Hold up the snowball. That keeps thinking of it on the mound. Great idea to throw the off-speed pitch. One and two. Take the strike. All right, let's see if we can get strike three here on Benson. Oh, that's popped up in the air. Oh, if we can get this double play. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that is huge. That is a clutch catch and double play by Pablo uh, uh, preserving the one-run lead. That was a big That was a big play in the game right there. He drops that. It's 2-2. Oh, that's huge. I don't know why he was running on that one. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just the programming, but still. Very, uh, very poor base running by Chico there. And we are now one out away from getting out of this inning. You know, I'm just going to use the fireball. I don't want to. We're just going to get out this inning. I'm just going to get out of it. There it is. Just wanted to get out that inning. Just wanted to, to shut it down right there. So we gave up a run, but still had the lead. And the Giants have taken the lead. Yeah, two errors. Not good. Not good. All right, Keisha. Our, uh,. Our savior so far in this one. Literally, that one home run is the difference in the game right now. He's ready now. Here's the pitch. Oh, I mean that should be that could be a hit. Yeah, it's gonna be a single. All right, we're in there. Keisha, two for two today. She's got two of her five hits. Joe is about to get eight eighteen. That is honestly very impressive. I feel like I just feel like most of her hits aren't very memorable though. I don't remember. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe she has done, has some good hits. I just feel like a lot of them are just those dropped ones that I mentioned before. He should get in there. All right, she's in there. We're, at, we're all, like, that's what I mean. I feel like that's most of Jocinda's hits, like, hits like that, where it's just like, yeah, she gets on base, which is great. You know, not going to complain about that. It just feels like uh, her average is a little skewed. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is a good start. We can, uh, if we can get Keisha home, we can get that run right back. We can find a way to get her home. Just got to put the ball in play. Nope. Nope. That's not it. It's not it. Just into falling down again. Yeah, they they're they're they got the outfield pulled to the right. That's fine. We just got to move Keisha over. Yep. That that should work. That should work. Just got to move Keisha over. Nope. Nope. Stay. Stay. That's fine. That's fine. We moved her over. We moved her over. That was the goal of that at bat. Now, if we can get Keisha home on like a sack fly or, you know, just put in play. Just put it in play. We could do, we could try the double steal, honestly. Yeah, we'll try the double steal. Maybe they'll throw it to second. We can run Keisha home. Just play, you know, some little league maneuvers. I mean, not like this though. We're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna get that done. Oh no! Well, Annie's made it to second, but that was a big strikeout. That was a big strikeout because now we need a base hit to get Keisha home. I was really hoping we just put it in play. Two foul balls though certainly did not help. We are also one out away from hearing the infamous, um, you know, Vinny the Gooch story of how the Giants came back from six runs in the the inning. Only another another out away from from hearing that story. Man, I really can't wait till this. <laughs> I don't have to hear that anymore. Kenny, base hit, run. Oh, that's right. That's it. That's good. All right. All right. That's a huge insurance run. Kenny helping out his own cause right there, getting himself an extra run support. That is, that's a big run. That's a, that, that might not seem like a lot. That's a big run right there. Kenny with a clutch, two outs, uh, RBI single. From the windup, here's the pitch. The wing, the right one. Uh, yeah, I'm not really expecting too much from this inning, but or from this at bat, but. You know, getting the run was big. Getting the run was big. That's high. Let's see if we can get another run. Ah, 
Just keep fouling. So many foul uh, hits. Can't can't uh, can't straighten it up. Okay. Okay, that's good. Annie, come home. Oh no. Yeah, Annie, come home. Yes, Annie, get there, get there. Yes, that's a oh man. Sally Dobbs now with a huge two out single. Oh yeah, now now we're good. Now we got a three run lead. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're feeling good, looking good, smelling good. We're we're in the driver's seat. The crunchy cookies are on the verge of elimination. All right, let's keep this going. Let's keep this two out rally going. Let's get some more. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. Yeah, let's. Why stop now? Let's let's let's, uh, let's do some more. Let's get some more runs. You can never have enough. Ooh, I wanted it. I wanted that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Pete Wheeler, Pete Wheeler, three run shot, yeah, oh yeah, two out rally, two out rally, and we got seven, yeah, it's, this one's over, this one's over, the cookies, you know, made it interesting in this one, but they really imploded this inning, two out rally, um, from uh, Kenny, and then uh, Sally Dobbs, bottom of the order, getting it done. And Pete Wheeler delivers the dagger. Three-run homer. This one's over. Bottom of the order really came up big in this one. I mean, I guess Pete Wheeler's the top of the order, so. But this was uh, seven runs. Yeah, well, it's not the 20 runs like the last game, but still really good. All right, yeah, now we're, we're sure, seven runs is definitely enough. I do not see Kenny giving up that many. All right, another hit, another base hit. Yeah, now I take it back. Maybe, maybe, uh, I, I, you know, I, earlier in the game, I was like, I feel like they catch the ball more. They've dropped a ton of hits from us, like a ton. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a tough catch, I guess. It's off the back of his head, but still, they have dropped a ton of those. Yeah, this one is uh, this one's under wraps now. Now we're just now we're just playing for the stats. You know, people are just trying to improve their stats. Let's go back to close. See what happens. Oh nope. Yeah, I'd probably if I was on under, under open, that would have been better. Maybe they'll drop it again though. Uh, not this time. But what an inning! Five runs in that inning. We have blown the game wide open now. All right, time near this Vinny the Gooch story. Again. And that's gonna end the inning. One left on. The Giants are dominating up by six. They are all over it out there today. Did you see that Giants game last month? It was crazy, I tell you, crazy. They were down going into the bottom of the last inning, but then they got a hitting streak going and scored six runs in a row to come out from behind and win the game. Unheard of. The other team was crushed. They had victory in their grasp and watched it slip away. No, what? You asked me if I saw that game last month. I didn't. What? I'll explain later. Molly May steps up to bat. This young batter eats left hooks for breakfast. Yep, well, there's another, you know, classic Vinny the Gooch story. Same one that he always tells at every game, but... At this point, it's become a meme now, so just I just expect it. I feel it would be weird now if he didn't say it. Molly May, Mikey... Nice, one out. Still a fifth inning. It's so actually, uh, the pace definitely slowed down after um, that last inning, but that's okay. Uh, still not going to be as long as last episode. I like the ones in that 40-minute range. I feel that's a solid. Uh, I feel like when it goes over 50 minutes, I feel it's too long. And when it's under 30 minutes, I feel it's too short. Right, That 40-minute range is that sweet spot I usually like. I feel like that's where we're heading in this one. So that's a two quick outs. I mean, 35 pitches through basically five innings is very efficient. That's like seven pitches an inning. Maybe, you know, maybe eight, like about eight pitches an inning after this at bat, but that's still very efficient. 
Great idea to throw the off-speed pitch. He said, he's frozen. The wing. All right, Mikey, another. Can you get another one? Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Why, Kenny? Why? Oh, wait. Kenny, Kenny, what are you doing, my man? I mean, Kenny, that was just, that was literally all your fault. <laughs> like, 100%. Mikey had that one easily, and then Kenny was just rolling his way over, and then he throws it over Sally's head at second. I mean, like, Kenny, my man. W w w why? <laughs> like, that's all I have to ask you is why. Uh, not sure what that was all about, but... All right, well... They they decided their slowest runner was gonna try to get a bunt single. Not really great coaching, if you ask me. But we're out of the inning. Only three more outs to go for the Crunchy Cookies, and we will be moving on. Now pitching, Debbie Nagasawa. You can't second guess the manager going with this girl. She can throw well, blindfolded. All right, we don't really need any more insurance runs. But, you know, just playing for the stats at this point. But it's cool anyway. From the stretch, cuts to the plate. Another foul. It's a line drive foul. Here's the pitch. That's high, right? Oh no, that was that was actually um kind of the same spot of her home run. Should have probably swung at that one. Oh, Keisha Phillips on the crazy ball. That's going right to the center fielder though. Yeah. Almost, almost, almost timed that one up perfectly. All right, Jocinda Smith, two for two. Really, maybe didn't deserve those two hits, but wait. Oh, no. no. <laughs> uh, but 8.33, I mean, again, that's very impressive. That's five out of every six at-bats is a hit. Yeah, five out of every six at-bats is a hit. That That's that's honestly amazing. That's fantastic. Okay, I finally hit a slow ball, but right to the second baseman, and we are one out away, one out away from the end of the inning. But then three more outs, and we'll, you know, you, you know what I mean. Any Frazier batting at 750 also should not be um, overlooked. That is very impressive from Annie as well. From like our our six hitter doing that, Annie Frazier on the crazy ball again, or not crazy ball, zigzag, zigzag, but. I mean, we, we we pieced up those zigzags pretty well, just right to the outfielders. But we are three outs away now. That's the end of the fifth. And the Giants have taken the lead up by six. Boy, those Giants are really rising to the occasion. Timmy Unger steps up the bat. All right. We are now three outs away from the grand universe. Oh, all right, Pete, make up for it. Pete, get, 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 get it, Aw. Man, Pete, Pete's got a good arm, but no, uh, no glove. There are moments of glory, and then there are moments this. No glove out there in center field, but we have him in there for his speed and his arm, not for his catching, because clearly he doesn't have any. All right. Honestly, the cookies are just delaying the inevitable at this point. They are just delaying the inevitable. Pablo. Oh, that's going to be a hit. All right. Well, why do they do that? Like, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, just really just doesn't make any sense. But we'll take their free out. Have no idea, really don't know the programming that makes them do that, but, you know, we'll take a free out, I suppose. 
This could be a double play. Or not, or or no play. All right, Pablo. I uh, didn't like that. I really, I would have rather him caught that. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I would have preferred he caught that. But, you know, I guess he preferred to keep the game going. He wanted to keep playing, which I respect. Not really, but, you know, teach his own. Fred Benson. Are they stealing? Are they stealing? All right, well, we'll take our double play on the good old... Uh, <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen that before. Double... Two outs on a double steal? I mean, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. But that'll do it. Your Green Giants are moving on. The Giants are the BBL Super Entire Nation champ. 7-1. What a day. That was incredible. Today's a huge day for these kids. They are the BBL champions of the nation, ready to go on to compete for the world title. Thanks for coming out, folks. This has been Sunny Day and Benny the Gooch, live at the Big City Stadium. All right, let's take a look at these stats. Uh, Amir's the only one without a hit, but that's fine. He, he had a big game one for us. But two hits for Pete, had that big home run. Keisha also had the big home run. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty balanced everywhere else. Kenny had another good game pitching, although got a little weird there, some of those innings, but we'll take it. But we are moving on here. We win. Coach Valley Joe leads the Giants to victory. We came through a lot of adversity this season, but we stuck together as a team, said Kenny Kawaguchi, the Giants co-captain. The fans are the real winners here, said Pete Wheeler, choking back the tears. So, when we take a look, we're going to be playing the uh, Tasty Cheeses in the Ultra Grand Championship of the Universe. So I believe that's a three out of five. So, you know, series uh, coming to an end soon, but then, you know, once this series ends, we'll just focus more on the 2001 season. But yeah, we uh, honestly was probably an easy, probably one of our easiest series yet. I mean, we smoked them in game one and then game two, we beat them seven to one. So we're, we're hot. We're feeling good. Still undefeated this year. Um, but yeah, next one, we will start up the grand nation of the universe tournament, uh, not tournament, uh, finals, series, finals, whatever, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, until next time, catch y'all later.